If you're using VS Code without extensions, you're doing it wrong. And from spell checker to remote development, you can do it all. And in this, I want to talk about my 10 favorites. Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jesper. I have a PhD in applied machine learning to geophysics, and now I work in machine learning and a couple of other projects. And yeah, VS Code has gotten me through a major part of my PhD. Programming was a big part of it, and I want to share with you my favorites, my loves, the ones that really stick out and that every one of you should try. My number one is of course Python. And I'm a little bit torn because there's the Python extension, which is open source and you should definitely use because that's how you use VS Code in Python. But there's also the PyLand server and that one is not open source. So be aware of that if you care about these things. But generally, the Python extension is fantastic. It really helps you with a lot of things. So let's have a look at a few of the features because it's really good and I don't want you to miss them. So right here we can see that you can sort your imports and this is really, really useful. It will use the standard iSort. They're fairly general, so you're, you're good using these. You can also abstract methods and abstract variables right here. So that is a fantastic way to refactor code. If you have a function that is reused, it will actually help you to generate those functions and rewrite the code for you. And right here, this is one of my favorites. You can format your documents and it is using black with this short command. So that's fantastic. And as a bonus on top, it comes with Jupyter. So the Python extension gives you Jupyter in VS Code, which makes it so much easier to use. Number two for me has to be the remote development because I was using a GPU server that is headless, so you did not have access to it. It was in a whole different building. And um, the way I did it during my master's and during my bachelor's is have an SSH into the, into the server and work on that server directly. But VS Code makes it able that you can interface into the server so you can work on the server, but have your interface with all the extensions right on your computer. So it makes development on that server fantastic and really easy. And in fact, it's so good I introduced it to my current workplace as well and everyone was convinced that this is the way to go. You can also remote develop in a Docker container. So once you got your Docker container set up, you can remote into it and develop in there in that environment. So it's really fantastic for that kind of work as well. Number three is going to be IntelliCode. IntelliCode is really nice because it is basically autocomplete for your code. They call it AI generated autocomplete. Um, it's fine. It, it, it gets a lot of things right and it makes a lot of your life easier. However, for some reason it wants to autocorrect my import numpy as np into import numpy as numpy and that's not what i need but if any one of you knows how to fix that leave it in the comments please because yeah everything else fantastic just saves you writing a lot of code there is another extension for that you'll you'll find it in the in the marketplace which gives you even more prediction but IntelliCode is the safe one, so I can definitely recommend that one. Number four has to be doc string generation. I love it when you have a really well documented project. It's so important if you're working in a team so others can understand what you're doing. So auto doc string generates doc strings for you. And um, it only does the template, obviously, because like how would you generate the text? But if you use type hints, and have your function uh, signature written, then it actually auto-populates most of it for you and you only have to write a very strong, uh, very short description. And there is an extension using CodeBird that does actually do the prediction of code for you as well. So you can get written doc strings with a CodeBird extension and I work in a company where you have to be security aware and the CodeBird server actually runs in a Docker on your local system. So you don't send any data to any service and don't do any dodgy things to actually do the prediction, which is just fantastic. So you can auto-generate doc strings and they're really good. Like it gets about 90% right, which is 
It takes 90% of the work off of you to write the doc strings and I can highly recommend using it. And we're at the halfway point, five. So this is going to be Better Comments. Better Comments has a few different things in there where you can write to-dos, comments, and so on with keywords that are highlighted in different colors. And especially for collaboration, this is just fantastic. You really should try it out and leave your colleagues and yourself, to be quite honest, really color-coded, informative comments in your code. Number six has to be GitLens. GitLens is for all your Git needs and it is fantastic because it can show you in your document who has written which code and when it was committed. So you really have all the information. When you don't understand something, you can slack them right away and just, yeah, be very, very informed how this code was generated, what the commit message is, how old it is. So it gives a lot of additional context and I wouldn't want to miss it today. If you're working in big code bases, number seven is gonna be for you. It's indent rainbow. So if you have your indentations, the rainbow actually shows you which block you're in and it makes life a little bit easier when you have very long classes with a lot of code in them. Number eight, is especially important in the pandemic or if you're working remote, it's live share. Live share lets you work together with your colleagues on the same document. It essentially turns your VS Code into a session that is where you work together with everyone else. And yeah, I don't know if you've ever had it when someone was coding and you were like doing a pair programming session over Teams, which is horrendous. Like even if you get the get the controls and it's it's not the same. Use live share. It is so good because you can actually have multiple curses and it really shows you where everyone is and it's fantastic for development and it's all on the host side so it you'll love it. Try it out, trust me. And number 9 is going to be the code spell checker. Now, I don't know I need this but <laughs> It's embarrassing when your functions are misspelled. Having a spell checker in your code is actually really valuable. So installing that for free and just having like the assurance that all your variables are correctly spelled, you don't have accidental like embarrassing words in there. Good decision, like best decision you'll make. Number 10 is one that I really liked for sharing code with others, especially on social media. Maybe you noticed that I tried to post every Wednesday a little snippet that I found about Python that makes my life easier. And it's called CodeSnap. And CodeSnap is extremely easy because you just mark the code that you want and then you get a nice picture out of it with a, with a fairly clean interface and just makes it so easy to share these nice screenshots with someone else. My first one was Python, so that one was obviously a little bit cheating, so we have a bonus one. Number 11 is going to be VS Code Pets. And this is a little bit to show you what is possible with VS Code because it is mind-boggling the amount of work people put into extensions and you can build them yourselves as well. That's just one of the tastes what you can do with VS Code, how you can make it be your own. You can even sync it up with Spotify and whatever, like really go exploring. It's amazing. And like for me, it has yet to slow down and I love extensions. And that's it. Those are my 10 favorite VS Code extensions. Let me know your favorites in the comments because I'm really interested to learn something new. I found most of these on Twitter or by going through the marketplace and I can highly recommend it. It makes it so much more useful. Consider sharing this video with anyone you know that uses VS Code. Maybe they have something to add and they can show you a really cool extension as well. Because everyone I talked to found something really cool new, like the code bird. It's extension that writes doc strings for you still blows my mind. 